Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Unless you have totally been turning off the news, the biggest news right now is the jet that didn't quite make it in San Francisco that what, fell, fell apart on landing. Well, kind of didn't quite make the landing appropriately. Um, but we're also finding out what was it, the Facebook with the CEO or president was supposed to be on a plane but didn't quite make it. Anyway, you know, things happen when you land planes, but they do eventually come down. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam along with comments on the headlines of today. Yes, and sometimes the press does do some really stupid things. One is, what, the San Francisco landing, and the other is Obamacare. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's just, um, okay, the problem is that most of the people that write uh, attack articles don't fly airplanes, and they don't understand the freak. I, I'm a carrier pilot. And I learned the fact that basically when you come in to land on a plane on a carrier, that the plane, unfortunately the, plane, the, air, the carrier can go up or down depending upon the swells. And also you can be hit right or left by the gust of air all of a sudden. So it makes landing on a carrier extremely difficult. Because you can bounce, if, it lane go, you know, if, you, if you miss a gesture, you bounce off and go off the plane. The same thing happens is pilots don't like to land over oceans. Because it's uh, it, it's it's one of the worst over bodies of water is the worst experience for a pilot in the whole world because they said what happens is is that when you're coming in over the ocean, you don't have the ground to to land on if something goes wrong. What happened was the pilot came in um, too low and too fast and wanted to pull up to do another you know another path, but there was no there was no ground there. So what happened was they think he was hit by a wind shear. The wind shear pushed the back of his plane down the tail section. The tail section then hit the area, the, the wall, retaining wall, which you're supposed to fly over to get out, out of the ocean, and it sheared the tail of the plane off. Then it just skidded across the runway. And the press, well, we discovered that he's an inexperienced pilot. He's not landed his plane before. Well, my, my father was taught, my father was taught to fly during World War II, and I was taught by my father. My father said that uh, you, you can't land a plane unless you've landed the plane. Mm -hmm. You have to land the plane sometime. It just doesn't count if you're landing a plane with no passengers aboard. It's not, it's not considered a, a landing that they count on the books for their certification for the plane. It's got to be a passenger landing. They don't expect to happen what happened, though. It's called unexpectedness, and the safety guards on the airplane work perfectly, but if the plane had been landing over land like they do in Los Angeles, there would have been no problem. It would just land, you know, it would have bounced and just went along and bounced and went back up in the air again. Don't do that over ocean. So blaming the pilot for something that basically he has no control over, that's stupidity. I mean, he'll get pilot air and he'll never fly again. But, um, and then the second one has to do with the, you have the press dancing on the top of tables uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, uh, on the Republican side because Obamacare is now officially dead because the President of the United States has suspended, of course, you know, legally he has suspended the, the, all the requirements to get Obamacare, which means you, you, it, the IRS, we said because the problems with the IRS, you can't, we, people won't trust the IRS doing a background check, so we're not going to have background checks. We're going to go on the honor system for all the people, the individuals, and for all of the businesses out there. You know, you're not going to have to go through any check now to get Obamacare. And they're Republicans, we've won this, it's a great victory, the President of the United States has conceded. No stupid people. That's called Everybody can get it now, and there's no checks on it. You just say, I, I want you to sign up for it, and you get it free. That's called socialized medicine, which means right under your stupid noses, he socialized the entire medical system. And the assumption is that people are going to like it so well, they don't like what they've seen so far, but they're going to like getting it for free, that they're all going to want it. The problem is that somebody has to pay for it, and Obama has no money to pay for it. So what you think you're going to get for free isn't going to be paid for. And if, you, if it's not being paid for the government, guess what? who's going to pay that free social, free Obamacare? You're going to pay for it. So it's called, the, you know, the press can be very stupid on, you know, sometimes they just blame everybody for everything, and the other time they're basically, okay, here to put it this way, conservative, 
oppressed people when they that when they were born they asked the people you know you want trains or brains they said well I don't want I don't want brains I want trains and that's why you have Republican commentators that don't know they've just been had Oh, and then get a Monty Bubbleism for the day. Oh, yes. And Monty Bubbleism for the day, which is a real simple one. That, um, that basically you should look before you leap.